Hello guys, welcome to EGTV Presents Tech View, another episode. Um, this episode, I want to show you guys actually how you can create a bootable flash drive. So why you need bootable flash drive? The reason you need flash drive, because nowadays Windows, you cannot create a bootable CD or DVD because CD has a limit limitation like uh, less than a gigabyte space, but Windows um, operating system is bigger than one gig. Nowadays, like Windows 10 or Windows 11. So that's why you cannot create a bootable CD for Windows 10 or 11. So what else you can do? You can do like DVD, right? So you can create a bootable DVD, but DVD has maximum um, four or four point five gigabyte of space, where you cannot create Windows ten or eleven bootable disk. The reason is Windows ten and eleven size is bigger than that. Is close to five or more than five gigabyte. It depends actually what kind of files you are keeping on your iOS. So you can customize your iOS. Sorry, uh, uh, OS. You can customize your OS operating system, Windows 10 or Windows 11, depends on the organization. So it depends on the organization, whenever you create your customized OS 10 or 11, OS means operating system, Windows operating system 10 or 11, then you're gonna create a ISO file. And that ISO file, you need to, you need, you need to create a bootable USB flash drive. So through the USB flash drive, you can install your operating system in a laptop or workstation, right? So now today I'll show you actually how you can create a bootable flash drive. And I'll create another video how you can install Windows 10 or 11 through this flash drive, bootable flash drive. But this video just only I will show you how you can create bootable flash drive. Let's get started. Right. So what we are going to do, we are going to create how to create a bootable USB from ISO Windows 10, 11 or clean install, right? So we're gonna create a bootable flash drive, but what do you need? You need two things. You have to have your ISO on your computer, like Windows 10 or 11 ISO file, and it can be a customized ISO provided by your company, or maybe you can download from Microsoft site which is Microsoft default one, either one. So I have already downloaded here in my drive, I'll show you here, Windows 10 Enterprise image ISO, dot ISO. So it's a dot ISO file, that means it's called image file, Windows image file. And if you can look at it, the size is 4.27 gigabyte. And so that's not um, uh, mountable on a DVD because DVD size is four gigabyte. So what do you need? You have, but, and flash drive is actually flexible and easy and it's cheap. So you can create it and then you can, after you're done, you can maybe format it. It's up to you. So it's pretty easy, simple. That's why I'm going to show you on a flash drive. So for flash drive, bootable disk creation, you need ISO file plus you need one tools. What kind of tools? There is a lot, a lot of tools out there but I'll tell you a specific one tools. It's not means that you have to use that tools, but as an example, I'm just showing you. So what's the tools name? The tools name is Rufus, Rufus, whatever you can say. It says small tools to create a bootable USB drive. Uh, sorry, USB uh, bootable disk. So download this one. So what do you need to run like for downloading these tools? So first download and then you will get a link. Click on this link. I just opened this link. This is the link here. And it will give you the all the Rufus versions. So it's 4.2.exe. I'm going to download the latest one here. Okay, just give me a second. It's add. I'm going to close it. Okay, it's already start download. It's already downloaded. Download is done, right? So let's Minimize this one, go back to download folder. Here's the software, the tools, run as administrator. 
and I'm going to run it. It's going to run, uh, just give me a second, it's going to run here. Yeah. All right. So now what I need, I need this flash drive, right? So I have a, a flash drive, brand new flash drive. I'm going to insert it. Okay. I just inside, I uh, insert it. So if you have a new brand new flash drive, what you need to do, just go here this computer and you're gonna see the flash drive is here. Okay. So you can format it right click, then you say format, uh format, 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 format. Here format. And then you, you can format it by um and NTFS. So I which I already did, you can say start and then you can format it. So after you format format is done, and this is your uh Rufa software tools, the one you just install. It's a pretty small tools. It's not going to take time to install. Um, you just run the exe file. That's it. So device name is okay. Let's find actually F drive, right? USB F. So from here, you have to select F here. This one. USB F, no label on it. Boot selection, go there, boot MS disk, disk or ISO, okay, select it, go selection and then down and I have on my disk, right, and here. Okay, so we just send the price image and partition scheme gpt or mbr is up to you i'll discuss another video what is the meaning of this but by default is is came gpt so you can just leave it like that or system ufi format and volume level windows 10 enterprise if you want to add more you can add it more here and file system uh, large 32 also ntfs you can change into ntfs It's ready, right? So you can say start. So now create a local account with username so you can customize it with the username. If you want, you can specify or you can skip all those things. Start. Create a local account with username, whatever the username is, and say um, admin. Disable data collection, skip privacy question, disable bit locker automation. It's up to you. If you want, you can do that. Continue, you have a bootable that has been revoked and that will figure the screen. Okay. So now it's checking for conflict process. It's going to take a little bit of time. No level that will be. Just try to continue this operation. Click OK to quit. OK. So now it's starting. It's going to take a little bit of time. So you have to wait. So the coffee, the, like the copying job is already started. It's uh, like file is copying from the ISO and is running on the flash drive. You see here, uh, 0.8% is already done. So we have to wait until it's finished to 100%. Um, so it's almost done, it's 86% completed. We have to wait a little bit. All right, so it's ready. 
So my bootable disk is ready. So now you can unplug the flash drive and whatever the laptop or desktop you want to format and install the Windows OS, you can boot from this flash drive. So how we can boot from this flash drive? That one I'll show you on my another video. So I'll create another full complete video how to install Windows 10 or 11 from bootable flash drive. And until then, watch this video. And if you like this video, please subscribe my channel and wait for the next video. Thank you, thanks for watching.